Are you looking for the way to save your projects and events from Final Cut Pro onto an external hard drive so that you can access them later? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and also some obstacles that you may run into and how to overcome them. What's up guys, I'm Chad and welcome back to Epidemic Media, the channel that is all about helping you become a better video creator. On this channel you'll find different video editing tips, tutorials and walkthroughs that will hopefully make your life a little bit easier when creating videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button right underneath this video so that you can be kept up to date with all of the latest content. In this video we're gonna go over something that I actually had some trouble with when I started working on Final Cut Pro and that is how to save a project or an event from your computer to an external hard drive so that you can access it later and then also free up some space on your hard drive. So let's get into it. So moving projects or events to an external hard drive or to any other destination is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is if you want to move a particular project you'd click the project and select it just like that. Head over to file and then scroll down to either copy or move the project to a particular library. If you copy the project, what Final Cut Pro is going to do is create, of course, a copy of that in whatever destination you choose, but then also keep the original project wherever it is, which wouldn't help very much if you're trying to save space. Then if you want to move an event to an external hard drive, you do the same thing. Click the event that you'd like to move, file, head over to copy or move event, now as you can see my move event to library option is grayed out and that is because Final Cut Pro needs at least one event in the explorer window so in over here which means if I move demo event number one I have no more events left in there and that's why that particular area is grayed out. A quick way around that would be head over to file go to new add a new event I won't name this one just for the sake of this video so we'll just keep it like that hit OK and now we've created an additional event right over here. And if I select the previous event, the one that I would like to move, head over to File. Now I can move that event to wherever I need it to be. So I just threw a couple of clips into the timeline over here just so it seems as if I've got a project. And let's say your project or your video has been exported and it's ready to go and now you'd like to move your event to an external hard drive so that you can save space either on your desktop or wherever you've stored these uh, media clips and files. All you need to do is head over, select the event, click file. In this example, I'm going to move the event and not copy it. Select new library and this window will pop up and you'd select, of course, your external hard drive or wherever you'd wish to move the event to. I'll just name this one demo event, click save. And when this window opens up, it gives you the option to move your optimized media and proxy media as well. You can select them. I don't have any proxy media or optimized media, so I'll just deselect those, hit OK, and there you go, that has moved. When I work on a project or video, I keep all the clips or media on the desktop, and once I'm done with the project, I erase those clips that were on the desktop to create more space on my hard drive. The issue with that is that sometimes you'll open your Final Cut Pro and run into this little hiccup, which is basically Final Cut Pro telling you that it does not know where those video clips are. Now this happens because when you initially imported your media into Final Cut Pro, instead of choosing copy to the library, you probably chose leave files in place. The difference between the two is that when you select copy to library, Final Cut Pro will create a duplicate of the file and put it in a particular destination on your computer. And when you select leave files in place, Final Cut Pro will not create those duplicate files. So if they are moved or erased, it won't have any idea where to find them. To get around this issue, all you need to do is select the clips, hit command A to select all of them, go to file, select relink files. So zero of three files were matched, select locate all. And basically all you're doing now is telling Final Cut Pro where you can find these files that you've moved. So now three of three files have been matched and all you need to do to get the files back to where they were is click relink files. And there you go, everything should be back to normal. Now you probably won't run into this issue if you choose to copy the files when you import these clips into Final Cut Pro 
But if you choose to leave them in place and then delete them or move them at a later stage, you may need to take these few extra steps to get everything back to the way it was. So what do you think? Simple, right? I hope you found this video useful and that it was able to answer some of the questions that you might have had. If you did find value in this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to Epidemic Media so that you can be kept up to date with all of the latest videos. Also, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see from this channel, all you need to do is drop a comment. Thanks for watching.